from the parents and from the uh, community leaders. Back at the school tonight. Across burned in my yard. A chance for everyone to take in the history with a film presentation and community conversation about that moment in 1959 and where we've come since. Now, both Lance and Michael acknowledge that changing schools helped them get a bigger picture of the world and that it opened the eyes of the other students as well. Only on 9 tonight, an upcoming spring break trip to Mexico has some administrators pretty upset at Wooten High. WUSA 9 has learned that one of the trip's two organizers is Tracy Saltzman. Her husband, Kenneth Saltzman, was convicted in December of allowing underage drinking in his home last June. Minutes after leaving the Saltzman party, two teens died in a car crash. A Mexico trip agreement obtained by WUSA 9 states the legal age to drink in Mexico is 18. All travelers who choose to drink alcohol agree to do so responsibly. Late today, Tracy Saltzman told us, quote, we do not condone drinking under the age of 21 and included Mexico's 18-year-old drinking age in order to make families aware of the different law. Just the same, the acting principal at Wooten was concerned enough to send a letter home to parents, calling the decision to allow underage drinking irresponsible. Now we've posted the acting principal's letter in its entirety on our WUSA 9 News app. So it's going to be moist in the morning. It is. I mean, very unlike February. Uh, I mean, like, like April, we're tracking uh, big storms, possibly wind gusts over 30 miles an hour, heavy downpours, the whole bit. Mm. Uh, let's first start, though, with a three degree guarantee. Thought we were in pretty good shape today. It seemed it seemed that way. Went for a high of uh, 51, whew, 53. OK, we're, we're back uh, seeing the ball big now. High temperature tomorrow is going to be tough. We're going to go 62. Uh, 65 is a record high. We could actually tie the record high tomorrow. Live look outside. It's our live Michael and Son weather cam. 44 right now at National. Not going to go much lower than that downtown. You might see some upper 30s in the burbs, but no ice, no black ice tomorrow. Yellow weather alert tomorrow. We have that. Bus stop temperatures 36 to 52. There will be showers. Now, these will be light showers in the morning. You still need an umbrella and then hang on to that umbrella in the afternoon. Big storms possible as you're picking the kids up. In fact, afternoon rain and thunderstorms. Critical time now. I moved it up an hour from the last time we saw each other. Uh, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So I think they're going to roll through the, the heart of the metro area between about 3 and 4 p.m. So you folks leaving around 3 or 4, come home, get ready for some driving rain. All right, 6 a.m. in the morning, light showers. Temps in the 40s. 9 o'clock, light showers. Now we're 51 downtown and 50 in Bowie and 49 in Fairfax. But then by lunchtime, 1 o'clock, almost like a line of showers and storms, something you would see more with a cold front in, I don't know, April, May, June. <laughs> 58 in Gaithersburg, 60 in Leesburg, 62 downtown. And we'll kind of stop this. You see all the red here? That's a very heavy line of showers and thunderstorms. That's at 4 p.m. just crossing I-95. So if you're going to head down toward uh, Southern Maryland, Around four or five o'clock, you're gonna have to, you'll be following these storms down. 65 downtown, 61 in Gaithersburg, and still 60 in Leesburg, and still 63 in uh, Dumfries and Dell City. I guess the good news by 6 p.m. the heavy activity is essentially across the bay. Some residual showers into southern Maryland with temperatures still in the 60s, and I think we're going to have uh, residual showers and clouds much of tomorrow night and early on Thursday. I've kind of changed Thursday just a little bit. So on the day planner, light showers early, 57 at 11 o'clock, 62 uh, by 1 p.m. We'll keep a couple of morning showers on Thursday, especially east of town, 53, still a pretty good day, and then 44 chilly on Friday. Uh, next seven days, Saturday, I mean a nice weekend, 50 on Saturday. I'm still watching this storm off the coast on Sunday. It should stay south of us, 53, nice if you're having Super Bowl parties, and then we're cooler, colder Monday, Tuesday. Pretty good chance of some light snow next Tuesday. Warmer, not bad. Yeah. So we head to the ice. We do head to the ice. They're back. The All-Star break is done. They got rested. They're back to play in some real games. And uh, the best team in the NHL back tonight. But without their superstar with them on the ice, the Caps didn't play like the best team. A look at their furious rally. Sports is next. Walk around David Trone's business and you'll never hear the word boss. Hey, David. Morning, David. Good morning. Maybe it comes from growing up on a struggling family farm or from keeping the small in the small family business he grew into one of the largest retailers in America. David's always paid his people far more.